Hi, everyone. I'm Karen Tumor here in New York, and welcome to this joint edition of Bloomberg Black in Focus and Bloomberg Pursuits. I'm here with Kate Crater and Riz, and we're going to be talking about the $17 billion vegan food industry. Welcome, Kate, and welcome, Riza. Hey, it's good to see you, Karen. Thanks for inviting me. What up, Kate? Most of us know you from your music career, but you really go really deep with vegan food. And in particular, you have partnered with vegan cheese brand uh, Violife and also their owner, Upfield, to launch the Plant Grants Program. Why are you involved in this program? First of all, it's a positive thing to do, you know. You know, veganism and social justice uh, are both problems in Black Black America. This this plant grant is actually helping Black-owned restaurants who are struggling based on what COVID did. You know, COVID it damaged, of course, the food industry in particular, uh, but especially in the Black communities and these Black-owned restaurants. And I've joined BioLife to bring plant grants uh, to help. You know, the help first, of course, economically, help through mentorship and really to help spread the word, too, about healthy eating and living. A plant based life uh, is healthy for the individual and healthy for a community and eventually health, healthy for the globe. I would love to know a little bit more about how Plant Grant works and how you decided to award these um, to give people this money. Yeah, well, we opened up the floor and we invited restaurants to, uh, you know, send in applications. And we looked at their community. We looked at their location. Uh, we looked at their needs. And the idea, you know, we selected five restaurants of which we will send a grant to, to uh, 20000 per restaurant wow. to help them in this time of struggle. And we also uh, brought in mentorship. We brought in chefs like, you know, from Compton Vegan and other chefs to, to help them. If they didn't have plant-based uh, things on their menu, we're able to teach them how to turn their favorite recipes into plant-based. Uh, and then, look, entrepreneurship is an important part of the community and, and an, an important part of the, you know, the evolution of our country. You know, in reality, the more entrepreneurs, the more business we can start, the, the more small business, the more that trickles down to people hiring people. People at one point thought being vegan was for, you know, for skinny white women or something like that, or you gotta be all preppy, or it was inaccessible, but it's accessible now. There are statistics from 2018, which I think is the last time they tracked them, that 51% of restaurants in the U.S. had vegan options. Well, first of all, you are what you eat. You know what I mean? When I was young, you know, I'm, I'm from New York, you know, Brooklyn, Staten Island. We have a lot of Jamaican mm -hmm. restaurants. And my favorite dish was curry goat. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I would eat it, but trust me, I would act a fool out in the streets. <laughs> and, and, and look, I think sometimes your diet and what you're ingesting uh, has a lot on your personality as well. Um, you know, not that nobody should be docile. Every man should have strength. Every woman should have strength. Uh, but just realize that you know, sometimes the condition that these animals live in, you're taking that condition into your body. You started your vegan journey in our 1995, first with meat, then chicken, then fish. Um, why are influencers like you so important? If you see your favorite artist wearing a cool pair of sneakers, you actually want to get those sneakers. So it's important that we take our voice and utilize it to spread positivity because we were able to attract the audience <clears throat> with our art and you want that audience to evolve with you and my evolution has gone from a guy that was eating red meat i let it go i let go the poultry i let go the fish which is my favorite dish so that was a tough one <laughs> uh but i kept evolving and as i evolve it's only right that i can share my evolution with my audience yeah. uh and 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 because the care that you have for your audience is the care they have for you in all reality is symbiotic. You know what I mean? And I'm I'm honestly telling people that's fans of my work and my music and the Wu Tang that this has been better for me. If it's not if it's not better, I'm not gonna talk about it. Uh but it's been better for me. It's been better for my family and I 
want to spread it to other other families. And, you know, this is something Kate and I were talking about. It's not just better. Restaurants that have some plant-based vegan um, focus to their menus actually get, what is it, Kate, around 13% more traffic than other restaurants? This year, the biggest news in restaurants is a restaurant called 11 Madison Park. Um, went vegan. It's been called the best restaurant in the world. It totally it blew up when it, when they announced they were going vegan. And so I want to know about your plant grants winners. Uh, there's one called Vegan on the Run down in Louisiana. I want to shout out. I'm a New Yorker, so let me shout out Season Vegan in Harlem. We have Meeks Vegan Pizza in Houston. We have Supreme o Oasis Bakery in Delhi in uh, Philadelphia. Plant Power out in Chattanooga. My goal is, is just to keep striving for a better tomorrow. And step by step, inch by inch. These five restaurants, this grant uh, is gonna help them in a tough time. Uh, for some, it's gonna expand them in a, in, a, in a medium time. And the mentorship, I think, is invaluable because I think it's something that could be life changing. The, 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 the biggest thing, really? you know, I learned about life is that we all are trying to get somewhere, but it's better if you got a map and mentorship <laughs> is that map. That'll have to do it for this edition of a joint edition of Bloomberg Black in Focus and Bloomberg Pursuits. Thank you to Riz and on behalf of Kate Crater and all of us here at Bloomberg. I'm Karen Toulon. This is Bloomberg. Have a good day, everyone.